What's up guys, welcome back to our Dark Aether series here on my second account. And this is still from the batch of videos that I'm pre-recording before I go on vacation. So I get to choose the weapon and the challenge. So today we're gonna be getting the sledgehammer done with no jug and no armor on D Machina. But since I am recording this ahead of time and I can't take your suggestions, here are a few comments of people that have suggested the sledgehammer in the past. Shout out to you guys. All right, so we got our sledgehammer right here. We had this leveled up from our whole melee weapon mayhem that we did in multiplayer. But for our camo progress here, I have absolutely nothing done. So this is gonna be a bit of a struggle here. No armor, no jug. I really hope that we can survive. But anyways, we need to get 750 kills with this. 50 kills while they're distracted, disoriented, or whatever uh 750 kills while it's pack a punch 15 kills while in aether shroud 10 special or elite eliminations 10 kills rapidly 10 times and then when you get 20 or more consecutive kills with the sledgehammer without getting hit this has always been just the pinnacle or the achilles heel of camo challenges for the melee weapons this is the one i always get stuck on so i try to focus on that one way early way often but to help us with that let's throw on some attachments here we'll throw on the ball sack and we always have to pair it with the cock and of course i'm going in here with aether shroud but i think once we get our 15 kills i'm just gonna switch this to frenzied guard so let's hop on d machina and try to get this thing done all right here we go flying in and i don't know if i've ever gotten a melee weapon done on d machina before i know i've used them on here before while we did those like round 100 like hit the box every 10 rounds or five rounds challenge but I can't remember how it did against like a Megaton. Megatons are probably like the scariest boss zombie in this game, which is why it's going to be real tough to get the 15 special or elites. So I'm really, really hoping that the first initial kill on the Megaton, like when it splits counts and then the other two also count, but I don't remember. I know when this game first came out, this was the only map you can grind camos on or really the only map in the game regardless, but I can't remember anyone talking about like having trouble getting the special or elite zombies so this should be interesting usually we can get these things done before round 30 usually around like round between like round 24 and round 27 but if the special and elites are a problem we might be here till like round 35 or even higher let's try to be really diligent not get hit at all i'm kind of waiting for the zombies to start climbing before i hit them that way they're not going to swing at me from through the wall Oh, there's one Jackrabbit medal. Just nine more to go. But I've been recording a lot of these videos like back to back. And I just did a melee weapon not that long ago. And my major issue was every time I went to go swing at a zombie, it's like they were swinging at the same time as me. And these early rounds, you can kind of like stop them. You can see them go and reach for it and they go for the swing. But in the later rounds, your back pedal is not going to be fast enough to outrun the zombies and like wait out their swing like bob and weave it so it's very important that we spend these first few rounds being like super diligent trying to get them so i don't want to be all trying to get jackrabbit medals and then also trying to kill like 100 megatons i'd rather just have one challenge that we're worried about we just need one more kill for another jackrabbit medal there we go and there's our camo and we already have stuns let's use these get a few of these guys while they can't attack us back don't touch me Good night. And I would grab this insta kill since we are using a melee weapon. It doesn't make that much of a difference, but all it does is just stop me from getting my uh my field upgrade. Actually, that's smart. Right now, what I could do is train up this round of zombies, use my aether shroud, try to knock out the 15 kills as early as possible. And then I could just get my frenzy guard building up. And then even though we won't have any armor or anything for it to refill, we can at least get the zombies all slowed and work on our jackrabbits that way. There's our stroke camo. We already have 50 kills with this. No. Oh, we took a hit. Damn, we were like 12 kills into that one. That's the most frustrating thing. You make one mistake and you got to restart that camo progress all over again. That's why we're about to Aether Shroud to make that up. Get a few kills this way. There's our Decidence camo. I think that's three kills rapidly. Or was that three kills in Aether Shroud? I don't even know. A, a lot of those like minor camos just blend together. But I had a little bit of trouble coming up with some of these challenges. Like uh, for melee weapons... There's not a whole lot you can do. Like for some weapons, like, I don't know, like literally any gun, you can do like randomized attachments or like use the worst attachments, use like some really high zoom scope. But for the melees, it's just like remove things like like no perk, no armor, like what I'm doing right now. So let me know if you guys have any uh, suggestions for challenges for melee weapons, because once we get back, we're still gonna have a few more melee weapons to do. And I think for our very last one, we'll probably stream it considering it's gonna be like our last like dark aether weapon on this account unless they add something else like uh if the scythe other ever comes out but i'm interested to hear your guys take on what would be challenging with uh a like a, a melee weapon but not like impossible like no i don't know field upgrade unless it's no field upgrade past getting 
uh, your field upgrade camos. I think I've only been hit like once this game. I'm going to jinx it. We're doing really well on getting these jackrabbits. There's another one. I don't know how I haven't done this. Like, oh damn, there's another hit. But I don't know how I haven't done this for like any melee weapon where I just sit in like the first room and try to go for jackrabbits as much as possible. Because I usually just kind of play and hope that I get it. Oh, there's another jackrabbit medal and we're getting some stuns in. Let's Aether Shroud, get some of this in as well. There's Amphibian. That's our 20 melee kills while they're stunned. Oh shit, took a hit right there. That sucks. We're all done with our Aether Shroud kills. That means we can switch. Oh, should I go Frenzied Guard or should I go Tesla Storm? I feel like I can still get hit in Frenzied Guard. It's just the damage goes to my armor. But with Tesla Storm, they're instantly stunned. I'll use Tesla Storm. All right, we finally have our Tesla Storm. I'm gonna wait for all the zombies in the room to spawn in. Get them all in a nice, neat little pack. And we'll activate it and go for our kills this way. That was the easiest Jackrabbit medal I've ever gotten. Oh, and we went down. Damn. I just got slammed. So this is what it's going to be like, huh? No armor. Already going down on round 13. It's going to be even tougher the further we get. I just need one more kill for a Tesla Storm. Okay, maybe, maybe one more after that. There we go. Let's use it. And then get these jackrabbits over with. If Tesla Storm could stop killing all these zombies, that'd be great. It'd be fantastic. There it is. There's another jackrabbit medal. Is there a camo for it? Where's it at? There's our acidic camo. We didn't get the jackrabbit for that. I think it's because on that last one, or at least the, the kill that would have been 20, our Tesla Storm got the kill instead of us hitting it with the sledgehammer. So maybe that's not that effective until the zombies have a little more health. Or maybe I just need to time it better. There we go. That's it. I just needed one more. There's Conviction. All right, we can start opening the map up now. All done with Jackrabbit, so now we can kind of just relax and play. And we got a lot of money. We're at 45,000. Open up them doors. I gotta come in. Thank you. Let's go left door. Hurry up. Thank you. Quick loose change, and we're running. Let's turn that on. Grab our loose change from Elemental. Let's hit this button, and we'll grab this one. Oh no, I only have 50 health. When did that happen? These zombies are too strong and I'm not about to die. They're, there's such an urge to run to that armor stand and grab armor, but I know I can't. There's too many zombies just hoarding our portal. Leave it alone. Let's try to stick the landing. Come on. There we go. And I'm grabbing elemental pop on the way in. Give me a quick revive, please. So we have that insurance policy and now we're going down. Got our pack a punch part. What's up, dead shot? Give me your loose change. Probably a mistake coming down here. I'm not going to lie. That is a death trap down there. Look at that. We got the perk colors as the channel colors. Kind of crazy. And we have Pack-A-Punch done. All right, let's try to sneak and grab Pack-A-Punch. We'll get Pack-A-Punch one, two, and Shatter Blast. Okay, I've, I'm feeling a lot safer now. Still taking crazy damage with each hit, though. So I basically have to play this whole game like I'm going for Jackrabbits. So that whole thing we did at the start was just our training, I guess. But do I have enough for a self-revive? I do. I'm grabbing that right now. Oh, dog round. I hate Plague Hounds so much. They're so annoying. Whenever I'm going for Jackrabbits, they always run up. They're never, you know, distracted by the decoy. They always get right in the way. Even if they don't lunge at me, like if they miss there's still a chance that I run through their little like shit cloud or, or they just knock me like that. Dickhead, where are you at? Can another playhound walk over here so I don't have to use the self revive that I just bought? I'll come to you. What? Are you invincible? Where's your hitbox? You're shitting me. One of these bullets has to connect. What? It's hacking. There's no way. Jeez, how many bullets did I put into that guy? More than enough. It's got a disjointed ass hitbox. We're in trouble if we've already gone down twice and it's round 15. Big trouble. Yeah, thanks for the max ammo. Helps out a lot. Well, since we can't use Jug, isn't stamina up right over here? Yes, it is. Grab that loose change, pick that up, and there's a Megaton. I don't have my Tesla Storm yet. You're gonna have to wait, Megaton. I'm not ready. Speaking of that, I should probably get Speed Cola so I can get that faster. Here, Speed Cola. Thank you. Really sucks that you can't swing while you're drinking a perk, but you can shoot any gun, including LMGs. I don't get it. If you're strong enough to hold an LMG, you can swing a melee weapon while you drink a perk. Oh, it dropped armor. Almost instinctively went to go pick it up. Where did you come from? That Megaton, just, I turned around and just hit me in the mouth. All right, well, anyone? Anyone want to get hit by the sledgehammer? There we go. We're going to be going down so much today. All right, Megaton. Eat Tesla Storm. Oh, he's already down. That was a one-shot split. That's not bad. Oh, the bombers are one-shots. Okay, that's a lot easier than I was thinking. Let me grab this for the 14th time. I think my controller is starting to drift because I kind of flew right by that quick revive machine, even though I like let go of my stick. I've been starting to notice it a lot recently. I haven't even had this PlayStation 5 for like a year. 
Oh, maybe I have. I got this for like the Vanguard uh, Alpha or the Beta or whatever. May not have been worth it for the Alpha. Actually, I did have some fun with the Alpha. I played a lot of Champions Hell with Samuel the 17th. And we were kind of dominating in that. I don't think we lost like a single game. Or we barely even lost. But it's been worth it to have this whole other account to grind camos on for. And for me to learn controller a bit. I really like the PS5 controller. Don't like that it's drifting. I feel like that's a big problem with controllers nowadays. Maybe it always has been. And I've just been uh, in PC world for so long. But even when I got like my Switch, my Joy-Con started drifting like almost immediately. It's like you, you have to be so tender with them, which I, I don't do. I mean, I am a little uh, tough on my controllers. And by tough, I mean I do press the stick forward, uh, maybe a little more force than you need. And I do be hitting buttons hard in stressful situations. But like, they should be built for people like me. Oh, no. What the fuck? Oh, there's a rock there. No wonder I couldn't back up. Oh, I've gone down so much already. It's getting frustrating. We're not even at round 20 and we have four downs. This is becoming a reoccurring theme. When I did my Diamatis, I went down so many times as well. When I'm not buying all my perks back every round... Oh, please don't knock me. I'm gonna be mad. But when I'm not buying my perks back every round... I think I'm just going to train here and spawn. This is probably my best bet. This is how we can keep things simple. We can keep things routine. And it sucks I took so long to get power on because we're not going to have that wonder fizz here for like another seven rounds or something like that. So I'm pretty sure it comes on or it, it shows up 10 rounds after you turn on power. And I would really like to have PhD right now to help me slide and get away from some tough situations. But we have our threshold camo. That's 40 kills while they're stunned or distracted. And we have a decoy right here. Let's go knock out the rest or at least a few more. There we go. I don't think the Shatter Blast counts for those ones. They do count for Jackrabbits, I'm pretty sure, but not for those. Oh, it does count for our 10 kills rapidly, though. And we're all done with our stunned and disoriented kills. So now all we're really focusing on is those kills rapidly. Oh, shit. I just realized how slow those boss zombies spawn in here. And how did I go down? Oh, this is bad. D-Machine was not the map to pick for this. I don't even remember what I was saying. But I know the camos we got to work on. Our kills rapidly, just our normal kills, our pack-a-punch kills, and then our special or elites. I wish I could check my progress to see how far we are on those, but I guess I'm going to have to keep my eye out for next time I kill a Megaton. Because depending on what camo it gives me, it'll let me know how many special or elites count. Oh, you know what I could do is start up the Easter egg and then that uh, one red Megaton that spawns in the Dark Aether. I think he spawns every time you go into one of those like, what's it called? Like scripted portals, like the portals that you have to go through to find different parts for the Easter egg. And then if we do that and those actually count, we can farm those guys and get this done. Maybe I'll get this round down to like one zombie and we'll try that. Okay, well, Shatter Blast decided that uh, that's not what we're doing. Oh, I can't even start it anyways. I don't even have the, what's it called? The little key card you need to get the shockwave. If only Plague Hounds were useful and they counted towards that challenge. But nope, Plague Hounds do nothing but be annoying, lunge, smell like shit, eat hot chip, and lie. You know, when I start seeing Plague Hounds, I'm just nading them. They can go fuck themselves, to be honest. There's our 10 kills rapidly 10 times. I think we're done with those. Oh, and a Megaton's here. We got to use our Tesla Storm right away. I'm going right for the Megaton. Got him splitting. So the initial split does not count for shit. Bars. So let's see after we take out these two little gremlins if that does anything. Nope, nope. Missed my shot. Gotta run away. Because if one of those guys hit, I'm going down immediately. Oh, they're three hit now? That hit me for almost all my health and pushed me across the map. Megatons are not to be fucked with. That's why we're going to throw a decoy here. Zombies, stay away. Megaton, it's me and you. Okay, all right, all right, chill, bro. Damn. Oh, yeah, and they, I forgot they shoot. So I have to have full health when I go in to swing at a Megaton, just in case they hit me back. Okay, there we go. Two special elites. So both of them only count for one? That's super fucked up. All right, I'm gonna start doing the Easter egg and we'll see if that one counts. Does that one even split? I don't think it does. That's that's even extra fucked up. That's that's fucked up with cheese. I should have picked Firebase C. All right, we're gonna go through with this for now. But if we get to the point where I have every camo but my special or elites, I'm, I'm gonna quit out of this. I'm gonna go play Firebase C and take out every mimic I see. Because otherwise we will be here until I'm 57 years old. I also need to get like another pack of punch tier here soon. And by soon, I mean right now. We need to do some more damage to those Megatons. So they're not just throwing us around this whole game. So let's grab pack three. And I guess we're still good with Shatter Blast. Because I know 
that Deadwire is good against Megatons, but we're hardly even seeing them. My concern isn't killing the Megatons. Well, I guess it is. It's just killing a lot of them. And there's never more than like one at a time, unless I just don't kill them and farm them. I mean, I, I'm just going on technicalities here, but like there needs to be some more. I need some special elites here. Why is there so many Plague Hounds on this fucking map? Get out of here. Annoying as shit. Oh, there's our Rotten Camo. Should probably also start racking up some other perks here. Is our Wonder Fizz here yet? It is. What's up, Wonder Fizz? Give me everything you have that's not Jug. Even Deadshot. Okay, so this is officially the longest it's ever taken us to get a melee weapon done. Well, I guess us doing it with no HUD took a little longer, but that was just because it was difficult. This is just stupid. It's round 30. No way! What just knocked me? Every zombie there was stunned! Oh, I'm pissed. All right, now I'm dead set on it. Once I see... That chemical camo pop up. I'm quitting out of here and we're going to Firebase. No, I actually just bought Jug. What do I do here? Do I go down? I feel like I have to go down. I just went back to go buy my perks and I accidentally bought it. Take me out. I cheated. Thank you. For that, I'm going to have to use a self-revive. Not even going to quick revive my way back up. I don't deserve it. So let's self-revive and get out of here. And now we'll pop our Tesla Storm. Be very cautious on not buying Jug back. And we'll get everything else. Let's get out of here before our Tesla storm runs out and I get killed. Oh, damn it. We're down. Oh, might as well just use my tombstone shadow. When do I ever get to use this successfully? Most useless perk in this game. Oh, we got the who's who achievement. Most forgettable perk ever. What's up, Megaton? Let's get you splitting real quick. Yep. There you go. Go ahead and split for me, buddy. Don't just stand there. Start splitting. You're wasting time. You're stalling. Come on. Got one of them down. Now let's make that two. Quick stun. Going right for him. It takes about four swings, five swings. Still didn't even get him. Oh shit. I don't have a quick revive or anything. And it's level 32 or round 32. Can I get any of these zombies down? Wait, I can still swing this. There we go. We got Shatter Blast on it. And we hit the nuke. Perfect timing. I think that nuke might have killed our Megaton though, which is awful because we need to kill both of them for them to count for one single special or elite elimination i'm sick of this yeah our megaton's dead that sucks so not only do we have to wait five rounds to even get a little bit of progress towards that camo is that we had to hit that nuke to go get our perks back and it just killed it this is awful i still don't even have my chemical camo from how many nades and everything i'm throwing let's try to get that right now oh there it is see i knew it all right we got our chemical camo take me out i'm done get me out of here tombstone shadow take me out i'm done get me out of here there we go all right, our first game, we finished with 1,635 elimination, 350 crits, no revives, and 11 downs. Only two of those were on purpose. And with our camo progress here, we have everything done except, you guessed it, our special or elites. Oh, we have three somehow. All right, whatever. I'm hopping on Firebase to get the rest of this done. All right, here we go. Taking the drive of shame into Firebase C. And it's going to be until about like round six or seven or whatever until we start seeing Mimics. So, uh... I guess I'll just show you guys each mimic kill and then we'll get right into the camos. And I'm still not going to use jug or armor just so we can stick to our challenge. We got our first mimic. He's getting stunned. And he's getting slapped in the mouth. There's our scavenger camo. And I'm going to do the jug Easter egg, but I'm not going to pick jug up. I just know that mimic spawn when you do it. So come on, bunny. Come here, mimic. There we go. Get stunned. Get gunned. That's our zebra camo. Actually didn't get gunned at all. I hit him with a sledgehammer, but it's fine. And I want you guys to witness this. Oh, there's my controller drift. But I'm not grabbing Jug. We got the Ray K though. Crazy luck. Go ahead and spawn Mimic. Yeah, there you go. Idiot. Oh, Mimic got spawn killed. Get fucked. There's our blue tiger camo. We just need two more. There's another one. Sleep. And our last one, I think. There we go. There's gold viper, baby. Oh, finally done. All right, get me out of here. Zombies, go ahead. You guys earned it. All right, we can finally take a look at the sledgehammer camos. Here's gold viper. Wow, so cool. Psych. There's plague diamond, pretty decent. Dark aether, not bad. I mean, could be better. Most of the weapon is just the handle, but I'm sure this looks fine. Let's go ahead, hop in game and see what it looks like there. All right, this is what the sledgehammer looks like in game with dark aether. Wish we had a better pattern on it right now, but honestly, it's not too bad. I also wish there was at least some sort of pattern on the handle, like maybe a stripe down it, or I don't even know, like some tape on it that would change to dark aether color because there really isn't a whole lot of the camo on this. And even when you're holding it, most of it's off screen or at least a good portion of it. 
you don't get to see too much of it but when you do it looks real nice but there you have it uh that was probably the most frustrating time i've had getting a melee weapon done uh it just took so long to get to the point where we actually had every camo besides our specials and then the specials on top of that would have probably taken us to like round 60 round 70 to get all those special or elite eliminations on d machina but that actually was a pretty difficult challenge you guys saw how many times it went down without jug without armor you're basically like a one or two shot kill and those higher rounds like it gets super difficult but anyways i think that's where i'm gonna end today's video so if you guys like this you want to see more go ahead and leave a like on it if you didn't and you don't dislike if you're new here please consider subscribing for all kinds of kai content throughout the week that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later